Hi, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks and we're right here at Hazi, which is a Chinese company from, I think, Beijing. They're a pretty big PC manufacturer in China by themselves and what we have here is the X300B Ultrabook. That's actually a 14-inch 1366 by 768 glare display Ultrabook and it's based on the Intel Ivy Bridge platform for now, which is, in this case, a Core i7-3517U that's should be going up to 1. Point, no, 2.7 gigahertz in Turbo Boost. There's four gigs of RAM in there, 64 gigs of SSD, or a 5500 gig, gigabyte hard drive. Um, the case is actually, it's got a matte finish, except, as I said, the screen is glare, but otherwise it, it feels pretty sturdy, it doesn't, it doesn't bend or anything. Uh, there's no flex on the keyboard or such stuff, and it's actually a decent keyboard. There's some function buttons over here, the power button is right up there, plus we have a trackpad down here with a separate strip for the mouse buttons, a couple of LEDs for power, or battery and everything else. And the thickest part of the device is actually if you close it, it's uh, only 19 millimeters, so they're sticking to Intel's Ultrabook rules. There's Windows 8 on it right now, and let's take a quick look around. Here we have a Kensington lock, a VGA out, two USB 2.0 ports right there, um, a full size SD card reader. There's pretty much nothing on the front. And if you can move over to the right, we have the headphone jack plus the USB 3 and an HDMI out. Behind this rubber flap right here, that's a full-size Ethernet port, so you don't have to lose any adapters or anything like from other Ultrabooks. Back here, as you can see, that's the power plug right there. Um, what did I miss? Um, there's a 1.3 megapixel camera up here. They're, we'll configure it just as, they, as you like if you order it. And what's special about this is they have an aluminum top. Um, this is one of the cheapest Ultrabooks out on the market, or um, yeah, it is one of the cheapest Ultrabooks, but if you configure it higher, it's actually going to be more expensive. So, But the starting price is actually around 600 US dollars. Um, this is the Hase X300V or UI47, depending on where you buy it. I was rolling with Mobile Geeks at CBIT 2013. Thank you.